Hey, what's up guys? I'm Anush from AndroidRoots.com. Today I'm going to show you how to disable forced encryption on a rooted Nexus 6. Um, I know people from time to time say they see lagging here and there on the Nexus 6 and many custom ROMs and kernels for the Nexus 6 require you to have an unencrypted device before you can even flash the ROM or you will run into issues. So today I'm gonna to show you how to unencrypt it. It's pretty darn simple on a rooted Nexus 6. And of course, if your Nexus 6 is not rooted yet, go ahead and check out the link down below in the video description on how to root the Nexus 6 on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into settings. You can do this too if you'd like to show you that I'm encrypted right now. So go into settings, security. And as you can see under encryption, uh, encryption it says encrypt phone encrypted. So it'll say something different after we unencrypt it. So that's a little bit of proof that we are encrypted right now. And now go ahead and everyone go ahead and go down to about phone in settings. And as you can see in build number, that is a little build number. Go ahead and remember that build number number as you will be needing that a little bit later. So you can go and write it down on a piece of paper or do whatever with it. Just remember it. For me, mine ends in 22C. So that's how I'll remember it. Um, now go ahead and go to your Chrome browser or any web browser and we're going to download a file. So go ahead and go to downloadandroidfiles.org. I'll have a written step-by-step -step guide and all the proper links and files linked down below in the video description for your convenience. But go ahead and on your phone, go ahead and navigate where it says Nexus 6. Tap on it. And then go ahead and go to Forced Encryption. Tap on it. And here you can go ahead and download the correct boot no force encrypt for your build number. So mine ended in 22C, so this is the one I'm be downloading it. If yours ended in 210, you can download that one. And this is actually the stock one. So if you want to re-encrypt your Nexus 6, go ahead and download that one. But for this video, we're gonna we're gonna unencrypt it. So for me, I'm gonna download this one, the 22C, since that's my build number. And we're just gonna download it right here and it's going to save to our downloads folder. So here it is. So give it a few seconds to finish downloading. Okay, so as finished downloading, go and press the home button. And now we're going to go ahead and go to the Play Store and install this free uh, root app called Flashify. Um, I reinstalled it. It is a free app. And like always, I'll have all these links linked to the app, linked to the download links, linked down below in the video description. So I'm going to go and tap open. We're going to tap on accept. Give it a few seconds and you'll get super user request. We're going to go and tap on grant. Give it a few seconds. And now go ahead and tap on boot image. Choose a file. Now go ahead and tap on file explorer. Scroll down until you see SD card. Tap on it. And then go ahead and go to your download folder. And then this is where you'll find the boot image if you did download that boot image directly to your phone. Um, you can also go and download it to your computer and then transfer it to your phone, but it might be located in a different place. So now we can go and tap on it. And like I said earlier, it could end in a different build number, but that's okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and say, um, yep, that looks, looks, looks all right. The file is good and location is good. Now we're gonna tap on yep. And it's gonna go and flash the no encrypt boot image. Tap on flash more. Now go ahead and tap on the uh, options right here. Tap on reboot recovery. And we're gonna go ahead and enter into recovery mode. And like I said earlier, I'm assuming that you already have TWRP recovery already installed on your device since you are rooted. And if you're not, you can just go and do a factory reset. We're just gonna do a different method. Um, but within TWRP recovery, I'm sure you're using this. We're gonna go ahead and tap on wipe, format data, type in yes to confirm it. And this will wipe everything off your phone, music, movies, pictures, all that stuff will be wiped off of your phone. So if you haven't, go and tap on the home, reboot your phone, back it up, any important information before you continue on. Um, then we'll go and tap on go. And yeah, I get this issue. It says unable to format data and all that. If you do get this issue of where it says it's unable to format all this data partition and all that, tap on the home, tap on reboot, tap on recovery, and this is gonna reboot ourselves back into recovery, which will fix the issue. Okay, so once again, we're gonna go and tap on wipe, format data, type in yes again, tap on go, and it will actually work this time. So that's a little issue that sometimes happens. And it looks like we're already done. So go and tap on back, home, reboot, system, 
And once our phone finishes rebooting, our phone will be fully unencrypted. So your phone should perform faster. Um, you'll be able to install custom ROMs and custom kernels for the Nexus 6 that are based off of unencrypted AOSP ROMs and all that. So I'll give it a few seconds. It could take up to five minutes. Okay, now you can go ahead and fully set up your phone. I'm gonna skip through all this and show you that it shows something different within the encryption setting. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now we can go ahead and go into settings. We'll go all the way down to security. And now it says encrypt phone. So before it said encrypted. Now if I go and tap on encrypt phone, it'll give me an option if I want to encrypt it. Um, I actually can't do it right now just because my uh, battery's, battery is at uh, 46% or actually 39% right there. Um, so I, I can't actually encrypt my phone. But that is how you unencrypt, deencrypt, disable encryption, whatever you want to call it on the Nexus 6. Um, it's very straightforward, very easy, no computer required. All you need is root access and you'll be good to go. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to like this video in the bottom hand corner. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as I'm going to be having more Nexus 6 videos coming out in the very near future as well. And don't forget to share this video on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus using the share button down below. Until next time. Peace.